shiny teeth and What's up guys, I'm Pearson and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a room tour. What's up guys, I'm Pearson and I'm going to be doing a product review. What's up you guys, I'm Pearson and I'm going to be asking your questions. And I'm going to be answering your questions. What's up you guys? As you can see from the title, I'm going to be answering some of your questions, so let's get right into it. Pacific Northwest. Uh, so can go all the way, bro. Will you marry me? Favorite TV slash movie duo? Um, Jim and Dwight, all the way. You probably thought I was gonna say Jim and Pam. No, Jim and Dwight, all the way. Why? Because... Jim and Dwight had this relationship where they messed with each other. It was just kind of like this unsaid bond that they had and they, they were both always on the same page and they both like missed each other. There's a fly in here. Oh my God. Ah. Yeah, they're just they're just awesome. I just my favorite office intro is when I'll just reenact it. It's kind of blurry. That's better. Question. What kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. That's debatable. There's basically two schools of thought. Fact. Bears eat beets. Bears. Beets. Battlestar Galactica. Bears do not- What is going on? What are you doing? Last week I went to the drugstore and I saw these glasses. Four dollars. And it only took me seven dollars to recreate the rest of the ensemble and that gives me a grand total of... Eleven dollars. You know what? Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, so I thank you. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer from it every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! Can we do a dance video together? I don't know if you remember, but I'm pretty good. LOL. I don't doubt that you're a good dancer. However, when I do my dances, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> Impression of someone famous. I like this one. Okay, so I only have like three. Hello, I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? You could claim that anything's real if you only... <laughs> what? Like, you, know what she, you know what I mean? She goes... Is that a magic toad? Oh my god, okay, we're over this. <clears throat> Gotta get the windpipes ready. <clears throat> Oops. I did it again. I'm playing with your heart. Gonna stand on This is so bad. This is so good. What am I talking about? Oops. Oh my god. Thank you. Oops. Lelo, lelo, lele. I am at your feet. Okay, that doesn't even s like dead or ten million ways to love somebody. It's the fact that I'm trying so unbelievably hard. I don't understand. I I'm lost for words. I don't I don't understand. Okay, I think that's enough. Clearly I'm really bad at impressions. I don't know why I chose to do three instead of one when you only ask for one. Now I'm just making a fool out of myself, but what's new? Why is you so lit? What does that word even like mean? I don't even know what that means. Like, is that even a word? Like, what are these millennials like coming up with these days? What's your reason for doing YouTube? Okay, okay. Well, if you grew up with me and went to my high school or anything like that, you would know that I 
re was really into like fashion photography. Like I was so into it. I have like 700, 800 dollars, probably more than that, honestly, worth of like camera equipment and backdrops. I would shoot all the time. I like made it into the the school yearbook for like my fashion photography and stuff like that. One of my only accomplishments, actually. And then I I lost interest in that. And so then I went over to photoshopping people's like pictures into like a cool collage so that they could have it like as a poster or something like that. That quickly lost interest. I was like, oh, this is really time consuming, bye. <laughs> Lit! Oh God. And then I created a water bottle. I drew the design and then I like picked out the water bottle and I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun, so trendy. And I wanted to practice my marketing skills on Instagram and just like selling like a vibe instead of selling an actual product. I don't know, I don't even know. And then I also had like the time increments on like when you're supposed to drink the water by. So it was like a fun little thing, but I have about 300 of these in my household right now and I have not even put them up anywhere because I was like, oh, mm, like maybe I shouldn't do this. I was always kind of scared about doing YouTube. I was like, oh my gosh, everyone like knows so much about what they're doing. I feel like I'll be so awkward in front of a camera, which this is really hard. I'll have you know, I don't know if you've ever tried this, but I'm sitting in my room by myself with my camera and it's kind of hard to always think of something to talk about. But anyways, I have so much fun just, just trying out something new and, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I'm having fun right now and that's all that matters. Trial and error, my friends. Trial and error. Moving on. Country or rap? Did I, I said rap. Country or rap? Hmm. That is the hardest question I have ever had to answer. I have different moods and like sometimes I feel like, like a boss or a baller and like when I'm in the gym or the weight room, and I don't need no more. I'm a, I'm a freaking baller, I'm a freaking baller. I don't need you, I don't need you. <laughs> And then like when I'm listening to country, I'm like sitting on a dirt road, you know? And I'm just like, life is so beautiful. I love nature. Yeah, I don't know. This is like the hardest question. Like kudos to you. You know me so well that I would not be able to answer this question. But if I had to choose one and I couldn't listen to the other ever, ever again, I won't be answering this. Will you give Logan a hug for me? Most embarrassing story. There's only one right answer. Uh, jokes on you. I embarrass myself every day. Sup? Oh, sup, bro? If you could grow up in any time period, what would it be? Uh, now we have Brita's. Where do you want to be in 10 years? Okay, we're getting deep. We're getting deep. 10 years. Okay, in 10 years, I will be 30. Hopefully, I will have traveled around the world a bunch. Hopefully, I'll be settling down with a nice man. But at this rate, we'll see. Also, one of my like biggest dreams is to be one of like the lead badass females in a movie. If you've ever seen Lost, I want to be Kate from Lost or like Angelina Jolie in Tomb Raider in a like a war movie or something like that. I feel like that would be like so sick. And that's one of my dreams. And I want to do that within 10 years. So that's where I want to be in 10 years. Boom. Does your family back up and support your social media slash YouTube channel? I have actually the best support system in the entire world and it's because of them that I feel this like confidence and I feel like I can do whatever I set my mind to. And that's why I wanna be able to give back to them and just give them anything and everything they want in this world. Sorry, I had to get a little simpy there. Moving on. You are such a positive person. Do you have a morning routine? Does waking up at noon every morning count? I'm just kidding. I'm trying to start like waking up earlier. It's really hard because I just like go to bed so late and I'm I'm always just up late doing something whether I'm on my phone or on my computer or editing or out or with friends or something like that. Usually I wake up, I try to drink like lemon water or water. Um, I don't really have like a morning routine other than like waking up in the morning, opening all my curtains just to like let that natural sunlight in. I always have breakfast. Always, always, always have breakfast. If I can, I try to work out in the morning, but you know, I'm waking up at noon every day, so that makes it a little difficult. What made you get into your dancing videos? That's a good question. So one day, I was literally listening to Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. I was wearing these pants, actually. And I was like envisioning like a, like a little dance and edit, and I was like, let's try it. And so, the next day, I had someone go out and film it of me, and it was just like so much fun. I was dancing, I was like trying to be myself, but I was also like, 
I don't know what I'm doing. And I posted it and it was like something I've never posted before. I was definitely going out on a limb. I mean, I love music. I love being myself and dancing. And I did ballet and hip hop in like second grade or something like that. And so I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I have fun doing it. And so I'm like, whatever. I just want to encourage people to start posting like what you want to post, not just necessarily what everyone else wants to see. I don't know. I just don't want people to be scared of being themselves anymore. I don't want to like people judge me all the time for posting my stupid dancing videos, but I have fun with it and I want to encourage that because it's like You do you girl you do you and if my dancing and lip syncing and whatnot can make someone's day or make someone laugh or smile Either at me or with me. You know what? So be it. That makes me feel good And so that's kind of why I started my dancing videos Okay, I think that's enough for today. Thank you guys so much for asking me questions. It was really awesome. If you guys didn't ask me any questions, this would have been really awkward and I probably wouldn't even have been able to film this video. Actually, I 100% wouldn't be able to film this video because then I would have no questions and I wouldn't have any questions to answer. So thank you for making me able to actually film this video. I had a lot of fun. I discovered that I'm very bad at impressions, but you know what, we we move on, okay? Trial and error, like I said, trial and error. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you made it all the way to the end, you're actually a real one, and I owe you a high five. Subscribe to my channel to see more from me, and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Thank you.